going to start a new season today on female reproductive organs and the first disease I'm going to talk about is a very important complication of pregnancy which can affect 1 in 90 to 1 in 100 pregnancies which is about 1% chance which is called ectopic pregnancy. This is a life-threatening condition and needs emergency treatment. So to understand ectopic pregnancy I have drawn a little diagram over here this is the vagina. Above the vagina in the blue I have drawn the uterus and that uterus has got the cervix down here and the main body of the uterus here. From the uterus arises two tubes called the fallopian tubes, one on the right side and one on the left side. At the end of the fallopian tube is attached the ovary. So this is the right ovary, this is the left ovary. The ovary produces the egg or the ovum and the egg will be released from the ovary during the menstrual cycle and the egg will travel down, down the fallopian tube. Around here somewhere it will meet the sperm, sperm which will come from down here will meet the sperm and the egg will get fertilized which means the woman becomes pregnant. That egg or the fertilized egg will go into the main part of the uterus in the body of the uterus and implants onto the lining of the uterus to make the woman pregnant. This is the normal place for pregnancy to take place which is the body of the uterus. However sometimes the fertilized egg for various reasons instead of coming into the main body of the uterus can implant in an abnormal place. So it can be in the abdomen which is extremely uncommon which is called abdominal ectopic pregnancy. It can happen on the ovary, which is again extremely uncommon called ovarian pregnancy. It can happen in the cervix over here, which again is extremely uncommon and is called cervical ectopic pregnancy. It can happen in the body of the uterus, in the fundus of the uterus, just underneath the surface, or it can happen anywhere along the tube. So I've drawn one over here, pregnancy taking place over here, which again is an ectopic pregnancy because it is not in the correct place. Pregnancy can happen in this part of the tube, very close to the ovary. All these sites that I've shown over here for pregnancy are not normal sites. And if pregnancy takes place out of the normal site, which is the uterus, it is called ectopic pregnancy because ectopic means in the wrong place. The commonest site for ectopic pregnancy to take place is the fallopian tubes. The commonest time when ectopic pregnancy is diagnosed is between 4 to 12 weeks of pregnancy. So 4 weeks is about 1 month of pregnancy and 12 weeks is about 3 months of pregnancy. What are the symptoms of ectopic pregnancy? The early symptoms of ectopic pregnancy are no different than a normal pregnancy. So the woman will miss her periods. The breasts might feel a bit swollen. They might feel nauseous or might even vomit. Might get lower abdominal discomfort. As the pregnancy grows, they might get bloody discharge from the vagina because this can bleed and the blood will come down and go into the vagina. Lower abdominal or low back pain can happen and sometimes they can also get a desire to go to the toilet to pass poo or pass urine excessively and sometimes this can be an uncomfortable thing to do. If the pregnancy is not diagnosed early and is allowed to grow, then eventually when the pregnancy becomes too big, the lining of the fallopian tube will rupture with burst and severe amount of bleeding will take place. And at that stage, it is an emergency patient will come into the hospital with shock. Shock means very low blood pressure, fainting, severe abdominal pain, pain on the shoulder tip, pain in the back, pain going to pass uh, poo or urine, and also can get severe vaginal bleeding. And at that stage, this is a surgical emergency. How is ectopic pregnancy diagnosed? The first thing the doctor will do 
or the patient will do is do a pregnancy test. At this stage, the patient has got very little symptoms of ectopic pregnancy. They just think that they are pregnant because they missed a period. They are getting symptoms of pregnancy like nausea, vomiting, breasts are getting a bit swollen, etc. So they go to the doctor or over-the-counter pregnancy test shows that they are pregnant. Doctor will do a blood test to confirm the hormone called human chorionic gonadotrophin, which is basically the hormone of pregnancy. In a normal pregnancy, as time progresses, the human chorionic gonadotrophin levels in the blood go up. However, in ectopic pregnancy, it does not do so. An ultrasound scan will be performed to look for the site of pregnancy, whether the pregnancy is in the normal place or it is in an abnormal place. Please note that sometimes an ectopic pregnancy in the tube or elsewhere might not be able to pick up on an ultrasound scan. However, if the human chorionic gonadotrophin levels are high, which means the patient is pregnant and the ultrasound does not pick up a pregnancy in the uterus on the ultrasound scan, then the patient is most likely to have an ectopic pregnancy. The treatment of ectopic pregnancy, if it's early, ectopic pregnancy, it's picked up early and it has not ruptured, then an injection of a drug called methotrexate can be given, which dissolves the pregnancy. Do remember this pregnancy is not a live pregnancy and needs to be removed. Once the pregnancy has ruptured, then it is an emergency and needs to be removed surgically. Surgery can be performed either with a keyhole or an open operation. And in that case, the pregnancy is removed with a cut on the tube or sometimes the tube will have to be removed itself. If the patient was treated with methotrexate, then the patient should try not to get pregnant within three months of this treatment. Otherwise, they can have abnormal babies in the next pregnancy. Conditions that increase the risk of developing ectopic pregnancy, they include increasing age. So women who are over the age of 35 or 40, when they become pregnant, are at a high risk of developing this condition. Women who smoke, especially when they become pregnant, and more they smoke, the higher the risk of developing ectopic pregnancy. Previous pelvic infection, like sexually transmitted infection with chlamydia or gonorrhea, will increase the risk of developing ectopic pregnancy because in these conditions the tubes get scarred and they get a bit narrow and the fertilized ovum gets stuck. Previous history of ectopic pregnancy. So if somebody had an ectopic pregnancy on the right side in the past, they are at a high risk of developing ectopic pregnancy on the left side. Patients who have intrauterine devices like a coil in the uterus to stop them from becoming pregnant because they can't have pregnancy in the uterus, they are at a high risk of developing ectopic pregnancy if the intrauterine device fails and they do become pregnant. IVF treatment, so fertility treatment in women who are not becoming pregnant easily, if they do become pregnant with IVF, then they are at a high risk of developing ectopic pregnancy. If you have any questions about ectopic pregnancy, please do write them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer those questions the best I can. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Please do remember to like and subscribe. Take care.